Welcome to Can Angels Fly? I'm Nancy, and today we're here to discuss the mystical side of our reality. That is, the powers, the gifts, and the curses of the gods and goddesses of our world. Let's begin. If you are a Taurus, then you are an earth god or goddess of pleasure. Now, what might an individual ask a god of pleasure, god or goddess of pleasure, such as yourself? They might ask a god or goddess of pleasure, what should I expect out of life? And a god, a goddess of pleasure would respond with the old proverb of see, the world is your oyster. Mm. Well, now let's talk about some of the powers that are possessed by the earth gods and goddesses of pleasure. They have the power to seduce power of seduction, the power of allurement to be alluring, the power of persuasion. We have the power of charm and the power of grace. They also have the power to be present in the moment, in the here and now. And finally, they have the power of enchantment. Now, if a person is able to stay in the good graces of the earth gods and goddesses of pleasure, they may just receive these gifts from them. And what might some of the gifts a person in the good graces of a god or goddess of pleasure receive in their life or uh, during their life experience? Well, some examples are friendships, tranquility and peace, softness, dripping with sex appeal, to be adored or bedazzled, satisfaction, elegance, good looks, fairness, and joy. However, hypothetically, Say one is unable to stay in the good graces of the gods and goddesses of pleasure. What curses might this person experience in their life? Examples of such curses a person may um, suffer in their life, during their life experiences, is envy, being arrogant, uh, insolent, having longings, unfulfilled longings, being dogged or cursed. You can also experience a rebellious nature and be insubordinate. Hmm. Well, an example of a god or goddess of pleasure is in the movie uh, Percy's Percy Jackson's Lightning Thief, where the characters eat a lotus flower cookie. The cookie was addic an addictive, enchanting delicacy that freed the, freed the characters from um, being conscious of time, space, responsibility and left them to be held captive by the surrounding pleasures. Well, isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. Anyway, what is the key to success for gods and goddesses of pleasure? Well, it is to ignite others' senses and to fulfill them with pleasures. 
The gods and goddesses themselves are safe from such traps because they are what? The pleasure. Thank you for coming to Can Angels Fly? Until next time. Bye.